Hello YouTube, BigChase39 here, and welcome back to another episode of Storytime. In this series, we go over a character's lore from that character's perspective. In today's video, we meet Claudette Morel, a Canadian woman of science that loves plants and using them for healing. Claudette is one of the four original survivors, and today we are going to hear her story. In this first game, we are going to be using only her personal perks, Botany Knowledge, which causes me to heal others 50% faster, Empathy, which allows me to see the auras of injured survivors map-wide, and Self-Care, which allows me to heal myself without a med kit. Let's go see Claudette's story. Hello, my name is Claudette, and I have been living a series of nightmares for too long. Every day it's the same. Wake up in a random location, work on a generator, and leave through the doors. All while trying to avoid a madman who wants to hurt me and three other people. I've tried doing experiments to see where we are, what things are made of, if I keep running into the same people, or if I can even leave. And so far it's been hopeless. Hopeless. Almost like the feeling my mother had when she thought I would never make friends. That I was just someone who couldn't talk to people or would achieve anything in life. I guess she was right. Since I am trapped here. But I love science. And plants. And finding uses for plants. I got a microscope and a science kit for my birthday when I was eight and that was the best gift I have ever received. It led to me inspecting bugs and allowed me to explore the world around me. I guess I just have to keep exploring to find a way out of here. Go get your helmet off, Bill. I will work on a gen and see what I can do. Damn. Let's see if little Miss Piggy comes over here. Doesn't look like she is. Obviously a girl of my science and intellect would get scared from a roar from a pig like that. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little terrifying. And we'll heal up. We'll heal up in the corner. So that we can be there for others. Oh no. Down goes Bill. Alright, we really need to take some aggro for Bill. Unfortunately, he's on death hook. Let's see if we can do anything to help him out. Down he goes. I'm coming, Bill. No. Hopefully she can go for the save, possibly. I'll get this up to 50. I'm just watching Rebecca. I don't know if she's in chase. Oh, she is. Unfortunate. Okay, Meg and I can finish this. Come to Shack, Rebecca. Come to Shack. I will help you. I will help you. Come here. Amanda, this way. Drop it! Alright, we're gonna have to see if we can, uh... 
keep her busy. Is there another pallet over here? She left? Okay. Damn! <laughs> How did she know I was there? <laughs> She reminds me of those amazing Bond films that my father would watch so much. another part of the nightmares. So as we learned in the first game, Claudette is a scientist, someone who absolutely loves science, loves insects and plants, and uses them for healing. So that's why in this second game we put on a full-on healing build. We have better than new, which causes other people to get a 16% speed boost to healing, opening chest, cleansing, and blessing totems after we heal them. Botany knowledge, which causes us to heal others faster by 50%, boon circle of healing which allows us to place a, to uh, a boon on a totem and everyone heals 100% faster, and autodidact uh, which causes us to get a 15% progress bonus on skill checks once we reach uh, a certain number of tokens. So uh, yeah, let's hop into it and see how much we can heal others with Claudette. Alright, let's see if we can heal a bunch of people it would be really nice to be able to do to be able to help people when they're in need I've always been very empathetic although I haven't had a lot of friends There's the save. Did he kick that? He did. Alright, he's gonna go back there. You stay away from them. No tunnels for you. Alright, let's set up a boon here. I've always loved being able to help people. Whether it's treating a wound or helping them with scientific questions. Oh, 
Alright, here's my chance to finally actually heal someone. I'm just gonna hop in this locker. I'm gonna wait because I don't trust this ghost face. Unfortunately, okay. not helping. Oh my god! Damn. See, we got good use out of the healing build. Good use out of the healing build, come on. Go, go, go. You need to go for the save. Vittorio, you need to go for the save. Oh no. never ends so we see now how a healing build uh, can be pretty effective in this game uh, especially if you're able to get up to the higher stacks on autodidact and you're very altruistic but now we're going to explore Claudette's more scientific and uh, intellectual approach when it came to uh, her studies um, so we're going to run visionary which allows us to see generators auras within 32 meters. Empathy, where we see the auras of injured sur survivors map wide. Hyperfocus, which allows us to get 4% speed on s great skill checks. And corrective action, which allows other survivors who are working on the generators with us to not cause the gen to explode if they miss a skill check on another alien planet. Not sure where we are this time. But let's see if we can teach James over here how to repair a generator. See James, you put one wire here and then you screw the bolt in like this. Oh my god! Now while James is uh, dealing with Philip over there, we will uh, we will continue working on this. I got a small heart attack because I was not expecting a Silent Bell Wraith. But now I see you, Philip. Now I see you. What is this? 
window. This loop is weird. Not this way near, no. Not this way near. Okay. That'll do. Alright. Let's go over to James back over here. See James, and that's how you heal. You're learning very quickly. this before he gets over here. Oh no. I thought he would stay uncloaked. That's all right. Oh, he has five stacks. Good for him. Adrenaline, let's go, bud. Oof, this is almost as bad as remember me. It's a very long ways. We might be able to do this, though. Hello, Philip. Save him! Save him! I don't think you're saving him! They got him. Okay. Where's the Nia? GG's. As we can see, Claudia is an extremely empathetic person and loves to heal others through her knowledge of plants and science. She is naturally curious and loves to inform others about the world around them. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit more about Claudette Morel. Give the video a like and share with your friends. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and come follow me over on Twitch where I stream where I can. In the meantime, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.